Hi everyone, Diana here with your messages. This is a weekly message for December 31st, 2017 to January the 6th, 2018. And of course, we're going to be a little bit more around the January um, rather than just the December. Excuse me, I'm wiggling around a little bit here. Thank you all for, um, let me take these off because I know they have a glare, sorry. Uh, thank you all for coming back. Uh, if you have not yet listened to my messages, uh, the 2018 for the year, please do that. And if you have not yet listened to January for the month, please do that because there are some important messages in there for you. But this is for the week ending the last night of December and the first night of the new year, 2018. Well, the big thing that comes up, and we will, by the way, thank you for coming. Thank you for coming back. And for those of you who are new to my channel, thank you so much for joining us. We will get in a message from uh, my spirit guide, which is Philip. And we will look at left or right page because every page has a different wisdom on it. So we're going to get that message in just a minute. But first, I want to tell you some things that are going on. This week, we need to experience. It's a week of expectations and it's a, it's a week of unexpected and expected revelations. Let me repeat that. It's a week of unexpected and expected revelations. So interesting things are going to come out. It's going to be important that we stay balanced and grounded. Uh that's not always easy and we're starting a brand new week and we want to get off and you know rush into the new year and at the same time we may be a little tired from the holidays so this is a time to take extra good care of yourselves it's a time to really listen to that inner guidance and if that inner guidance says be here don't be here listen very carefully to that inner guy guidance. Good ways of getting balanced and staying grounded. If you're feeling a little flighty, stand on your right leg and hold the left one up a little bit. That brings in the energy from the left brain, which is the logical brain. If you're feeling bogged down and, and you need to be more creative, do just the opposite, the left leg. You can stand on that left leg and that balances, that brings out the right brain, which is our creative brain. You can also, you know, do anything that crosses, uh, which will help balance. It's important that we do things with being present and with deliberation. So it's not about rushing around. It's, it's really, this is a week of taking your time, breathing. It's a week of doing those things that help you pull in that inner guidance that help you relax. So no rushing around. It, it's really the, the energy out there is going to be stressful. So you need to de-stress as much as you can. And again, I, I do recommend that you listen to the yearly and um, ex the monthly because in the monthly we go through five stages that we all go through uh, in order to help you out there. One more thing is coming up, and I honestly don't know why or what this means, but several months ago, I kept feeling I needed to renew my passport because it had expired, and I kept getting pushed to do that. And, you know, I always say God whispers, and before there's the whisper, we, we get the shout. But I was busy, and, you know, it's expensive, and I put it off. So finally, I, I said I can't put this off. I must renew my passport. So I, I did. I took care of that. Thank you. Um, I have no, at this point, I don't know why. I don't have any specific international travel plans at this point, but you never know when the opportunity arises. But I tell you this because uh, another sensitive uh, person I know was getting the same information. Um, and so I thought, I'm just going to share that with you. Uh, I don't know what that's about here in the U.S., and I think it is just about U.S. citizens. So I don't know if there's going to be a rush coming up 
I don't think that you have to deal with this immediately. I'm not saying please don't go rushing off to your to your poor post office and overwhelming them, but I am saying um, I think it's something within the next few to several months. Um, I think it's something you need to consider uh, getting your passport renewed or updated or if you need a new one. So just consider that. And again, I'm not saying everyone needs to rush out, but if you're getting that hint in your life, if you're getting that message, go ahead and do it. Because I felt that I had to kind of rush to do it. And that's kind of the shout. And there's always the the whisper, then the shout. And if we don't heed the whisper, we'll get the shout. If we don't heed the shout, we get the big bang. So I don't know what that has to, to do with what's coming. But I will say that there are things in our government that are being done in secret. And so we really thank goodness for news reporters and insiders who report to the news people. We thank you. I, I just, again, I don't know why passports are going to become so important, but I, I'm getting they are. So that said, let's see what our friend Philip has to say. And yes, this book is available. Um, my websites, the one on intuition and my own website are below. There is still is time to sign up for the sacred path. There's a direct link to that below. There is a direct link if you want to buy this book or any of my other books. They're below. So if by chance one of the links doesn't work, this book and my others are available on Amazon.com. Or if you want to make a private uh, cons a private appointment with me uh, for a reading, that's below as well. So let's see what Philip has to say. Because each page has a different wisdom on it, we have to think left page or right page, and then I just flip through and kind of pick up your vibration as well as Philip's. And so think left page or right page, and usually we end up reading both, but one page has the message, and the other page I start getting messages that somebody out there needs to hear that as well. So that's why we quite often read the second one. So here we go. Left page or right page? What are you feeling? Ah, there we go. I'm getting right page, but I'm also going to read the left page because I think they're both important. So here's our message. If you are bound by love, how can you be free to love? How does that fit into what we've been talking about? If you are bound by love, how can you be free to love? Love is not binding. Love doesn't keep us from the truth of who we are. And we are love. And, and you know, in, in the the other videos I mentioned in January in the year, I talk about something really profound and very, very big. Last year, you heard me say, those of you who were with me, you heard me say that the masculine and feminine energies are, are balancing up against each other. They're clashing because the feminine is coming in stronger and that feminine energy is more loving, it's more giving, it's more compassionate. That's going to continue. However, what we're really experiencing, and, and this is why it's so important to stay balanced this week and, and go with that inner guidance, what we're actually, we're taking this, to, this clashing to a whole new level because now what's happening is the spiritual side of ourselves, and we are both spirit and we are human, and that spirit side of ourselves is saying, live more of me through your human life. Don't get caught in the experiences you're not the experience. You're the one having the experience. Don't get caught in those different stages I talk about in the January uh, video. So don't get caught or bound by what you perceive love to be because love itself is freedom. That's what love is. It's not others telling us how to live our lives. It's, it's not us telling others how to live their lives. Love is freedom itself. And love, by the way, it's a verb. It's action. It's smiling. It may be as simple as that, smiling at someone who needed a smile. Let's see what the other side says. Ah, this is important too. A good life is a creation of the future, not a reaction to the past. A good life is a creation of the future, not a reaction to the past. Well, my friends, 
What a time to let go of the past as we move into the new year. 2018 is going to have its challenges, but I know everybody here will be up to it. Easy? <laughs> I don't think any of you have it written on your birth certificate. This one shall have an easy life. But do remember, those of us who have had a lot of experiences being a soul in human form, we kind of know how to do it a little bit better. So we as a soul took on more than a younger soul would. If you're listening to this video, there's a good chance you took on a lot in this life and you can do it. Get involved with allies. Listen to videos like this. Read the books. Do the prayer work and the meditation. Work on being balanced. And most of all, my friends, listen to your own inner wisdom. Trust yourself. Learn to know the difference between that inner wisdom and wishful thinking. That takes time and practice, but you can do it. Stay in love. Know that I'm holding that for you. The Daisy is holding that for you. She's not in with me today. She's sleeping in the other room and I didn't want to disturb her. I love you. Thank you for receiving that love. Thank you for loving me. Until we meet again. May your week be blessed. May it be filled with joy and love. I love you. I love you.